Here we are looking at the solution to practice problem two. One thing in particular about this problem I'd like to point out is that you must add 12 hours to your corrected chronometer time in order to get the proper GMT. Take your time with that concept and let it sink in. Enjoy the process. <laughs> Compass deviation by amplitude of the sun. Practice problem two. Problem two. Let's go. We have in the problem, they give us certain information. These are the givens of the problem. And <clears throat> right away, it gives us the date. The date is June 23rd. And all of them take place 1981. The DR position is here. We get our DR position. That's equal to latitude 2139, lat 21 degrees 39 minutes south. A longitude of 106 28 106 degrees 28 minutes west <clears throat> you observe an amplitude of the Sun the Sun centers on the celestial horizon and bears 78 degrees PSC so the Sun's bearing is equal to 78 degrees PSC the chronometer reads 2 14 19, 2 hours, 14 minutes, 19 seconds. So that's the cron time, which equals <clears throat> 2 14 39. 2 14 39 minutes, seconds. And then, and is 1 minute 43 seconds slow. So that's the error, the cron error equals 1 minute, 43 seconds, and it's slow, which means we add it. And variation in the area is 9 west. Variation in that area equals 9 degrees west. And then it asks, what is the deviation of the standard magnetic compass? So it wants deviation that's what we're solving for and the first thing we do is get the GMT so we can jump in the almanac and get the declination because we'll need that so the GMT for me this is the most confusing part you have to figure out what day you're in and what GMT to use so the cron time is 2:14:39. so 0 to 14.39 hours, minutes, seconds. And we'll put the error on there. 1 minute 43 seconds slow, so we add it. 1 minute 43 seconds, and we're slow, so we're adding it to catch back up. This cron time slow, we add the error back in. So 9 and 3 is 12, 7, 8, 82 seconds, and 14 and 1 is 15 minutes, oh, two hours. This 82, ha, that's funny, I always do that. That's seconds, not a two. And so what we need to do is that 82 minus 60 and add a minute over here. So we're going to be oh, two hours, 16 minutes, 22 seconds. Or the other option, there's ambiguity in this, is going to be 12 hours in the future. So if you add 12 hours here, you're going to be 14, 16, 22. 14 hours, 16 minutes, 22 seconds. So which one are we? Are we here or are we here? <clears throat> what we have to do to figure out, we need, this is Greenwich Mean Time or GMT. We need to figure out our LMT, which is local mean time, to figure out 
if it's day or night. So how we do that, we just get the longitude. So our longitude is equal 106, 106 degrees. We're not even going to really account for the minutes because this is going to just be an average and we're to the west. And we divide that by 15 because there's 15 degrees in a time zone. What does that equal? So 106 divided by 15, 106 divided by 15 equals 7.1. So we round it, 7 hours. Now, is this plus or minus? Well, this west means we subtract. And I can do a little graphic here to help show that. If this is 000, zero, zero Greenwich time, these are time zones. If you go to the east, you add. If you go to the west, you subtract. Think about New York to California. You're to the west, you're subtracting. So these seven hours will be subtracted. This is our zone correction. So if you subtract seven hours from both of these, where will we be? So you can't take seven from two. A trick here, you just add 24 to two and then do it. So 24 plus two equals minus seven equals 19. So here we have 19 hours, 16 minutes, 22 seconds, or 14 minus seven. So that's seven hours, 16 minutes, 22 seconds. And these are LMTs, local mean times, at which one was us. So 19 hours, that's, that's going to be night. That's PM. That would be a setting sun. Seven hours is in the morning. That's AM. It'd be rising sun. What are we looking at? We saw the sun bearing 78, which means that is in the east, which means it was rising right so we were in the a.m which one of these local mean times is a.m this one this this is 7 a.m so we need to kind of work backwards and say okay this was our gmt 14 16 22 that's our gmt and we didn't switch days when we subtracted seven hours we're still in the same day so 14, 16, 22. That's our GMT. GMT equals 14 hours, 16 minutes, 22 seconds on June 23rd. We didn't switch days. On June 23rd, 1981. And now that we have our GMT, we can jump in the nautical almanac and we can get our declination and the D value. Let's do that. So the declination, we're on June 23rd. September, we're almost there, August. Coming up, June 27, June 24, June 23rd. So June 23, it was a Tuesday, GMTs, here's the day, 21, 22, 23, and the hours was 14, 14, and the declination is, starts here, north 23, right, that comes down, so north 23, 25.5, and is it getting bigger or smaller, slowly getting smaller. So you got North 23, 25.5, getting smaller. You have North 23, 25.5, we're getting smaller. Degrees, minutes. So now we flip into the corrections. What? We need our D value. It's down here. D value down here is just negligible. It's zero. There's our D value. 
0, 0.0. So I could basically tell you the correction for D is going to be 0, but let's flip into the corrections, increments and corrections. And we do this for 16 minutes because GMT right here, 16 minutes. And 15, 16, here's 16 minutes. Here's the D value and the correction. And right here, 0, 0, it's 0. Pretty uneventful. So this will be 0, 0.0. We'll subtract it. Doesn't matter. So we get north 23 degrees, 25.5 minutes. And this, we need to get all of this into degrees to put it into our trig function. We need to take the sine of this later. So if you divide it by 60, we get. We're going to get north 23 point something here. Whoops. 25.5 divided by 60 equals 0.425. So 23.425 degrees. This is our declination. And now we get our latitude, our dr lat. So dr lat is equal to 2139. 21 degrees 39 minutes south. We take these 39 minutes and divide them by 60, and that'll give us our dr lat, which will be 21 point what? 39 divided by 60 equals 0 0.65, 21.65 degrees south. So this is our lat that we're going to use. And now we can plug these in to our formula to get amplitude. So this says the sine of amplitude is equal to the sine of declination divided by the cosine of latitude. So we can start getting these numbers together. We could say the sine of declination, our declination, 23.425 equals 23.425. And cosine of our latitude, our latitude is 21.65. 21.65. Let's punch these in. We'll get some values. So just go sine 23.425 equals 0.39755. And now we'll do that same thing for co 39755. Cosine. 21.65, 21.65 equals 0 0.92945, 0 0.92945. Do this division, say 0 0.39755, 39755 divided by 0 0.92945, 92945 equals 0.42773. And so this is sine amplitude equals 0 0.42773. Now, to get this sine to the other side and just get amplitude, we say we take this and we just do the inverse. So it ends up being sine negative 1 of 0 0.42773. And we put that in, and that's going to give us our amplitude in quadrantal notation. So second sine, get the inverse there, 0 0.42773. 42773 equals 25.3. We're just going to bring it down to this decimal, 25.3, 25.3.
And now we need to name it. So in the front, we're going to get east or west. And that's decided by the bearing of the sun. Right here, we said it was 78, which is in the east. And it was rising AM, right? So we name it east. Named east. And then if it's west, no, if it's north or south, comes from the name of the declination, which in this case is north. Okay, so we're east 25.3 north. Let's see. We need to figure out our amplitude in degrees true, so it has to be from north. If we make a little graph here, north, south, east, west, it, it makes it easier to figure out. So first, we're east, and now we're north of east. We're up here. So this is where we are. What we can do now, we need to figure out how many degrees from north. We take this 90 degrees here and subtract this number. So 90 minus this will give us this angle, right? So we can say this equals 90 minus 25.3 equals, and this is going to be our amplitude from north, 90 minus 25.3 equals 64.7. Equals 64.7 degrees true. And now we can put this into our compass correction. So true variation TVMDC. When we're going down, we add west. We know we do the opposite to east. So true. 64.7 degrees true. We just calculated that. Variation was given 9 west. 9.0 degrees west. When we're going down, we add west. So we'll get 64.7 plus 9 equals 73.7. 73.7. And now we figure out deviation. We are given this compass, right? Sun bearing, 78 degrees PSC. 78.0 degrees PSC. And now we do that subtraction. We get 73.7 minus 78. That'll give us the difference. 4.3. So 4.3 degrees is it east or west? Well, we went from 73 to 78. We were adding. So going down, we add west. So our answer should be 4.3 west. And if we come up, there we are, C. So the answer to number practice problem two is C. 4.3 degrees deviation to the west.